Hi guys! Hi! In our last video, we have shown you how to use barcode clickboard in a standalone mode. Today, as promised, we have made a really cool project to show you how to use it with the development boards and to make your own scanning system. Yes, uh, so this project contains barcode click, TRF clicks, clicker 2 for STM32 and what else? And 8x8 R clickboard to show you the results of the scanning. Also, we have made these cool t-shirts so we can show you the practical use of this example. First, let us tell you something in general about one-dimensional and two-dimensional barcodes. Although each QR code is different, they contain a few common patterns that will enable the barcode scanning module to do the actual scanning. First, there is a quiet zone. It's an empty white border that makes it possible to isolate the code from other printed information. Then there are finder patterns. Those are those black and white squares in three corners. They make it easy to confirm this is a QR code and they also determine size and orientation of the code. There is alignment pattern, which ensures the code can be deciphered even if it's distorted, if it's viewed from some different angle, printed on a curved surface and so on. There is a timing pattern, which runs horizontally and vertically between the three finder patterns. It consists of alternate black and white squares. Timing pattern makes it easy to identify individual data cells within a QR code. It's especially useful when the code is damaged or distorted. Version information helps you to determine which version is used in a particular code. And there are data cells. Those are each individual black or white squares that are not part of those standards. They contain actual data in the code. 1D barcodes also have their patterns. First, there is a quiet zone. Then there is a start character, then comes the encoded data, check character, and stop character. Okay guys, now that you know more about barcodes, uh, let us tell you something more about our project. Yes, we have used Clicker 2 for STM32 on this side, combined with TRF clickboard and 8x8R click. By pressing the button PE0, we will be sending the request to the other side to start the scan. Yes, and if the scan is successful, it will send back information. And on this side, on 8x8 R clickboard, we will see the result of the scan. So you want to try it again here? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I have a QR code and I will send you the request. Okay. We have uploaded the complete project on our Lipstock page, so go and check the link in the description box. Yeah, and if you like our content, please subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, bye.